Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my uh, Christmas gift to you guys today. This is how you set the air gap on a push mower. Uh, some people refer this to, as this as an ignition coil, a magneto, armature. Today we'll call it, most people call it, which is an ignition coil. And uh, this is what you need to set your air gap. And you're wondering why am I holding this milk carton? Well. There's a lot of videos on uh, how to set the air gap, and they say, oh, use a business card. Use a, a ticket, a, a repair ticket or something, and that's fine. I've tried that, but uh, a long time ago, I switched to this. And what you do is you just get your scissors or a pocket knife, and you cut little strips of plastic and stick them in the drawer, and they don't tear, which is what happens when you use business cards. They rip, and then you got to start over. So. Uh, cut you some little strips of a milk jug. They're all the correct thickness. I have set the air gap on hundreds of mowers and this is the method I use. It's the simplest. There's also videos on there that tell you to set the air gap when the magnet is not touching the uh, ignition coil. Don't do that because then uh, your cards won't stay in place or your, your strips of your milk jug won't stay in place as you can see I've got the magnet touching this and that's what you want because you want this thing squared up against it and of course I've got the spark plug un unplugged and uh, you don't need this off I, I wanted to check the uh, status of my flywheel key um, but just get to take off the blower housing where you can get to this and then to put these in place you just loosen this until it begins to fall away. You don't have to take these screws all the way out. And you shouldn't be doing this if you're not strong enough to, to move this away from the magnet on both sides. Okay? So that's, that's nice and squared up. And you got the perfect gap with these little strips of milk jug. Okay? So I'm going to tighten that down and it'll be perfect. And that's, that's the best way to do this. Don't use pieces of paper. Use your strips of milk jug save the bottom of it you know for cleaning things these things are very useful so anyway I just want to share that with you on this Christmas morning Merry Christmas